Hey y'all, welcome back, welcome back to Jackie's World. How y'all doing today? Happy Friday. All right, y'all. So I wanted to come on just with a um a short and sweet video tonight. So you know I ain't been on for a couple of days, okay? And I um actually went to a couple of stores, right? And I said, you know what? Let's do a different haul to that tonight, right? So I had stopped at Walgreens today and um, I use it on a big Walgreens shopper, right? But I needed some uh, laundry detergent. Even though I already did my laundry this week, I used all the laundry detergent I had. So I feel like I had some, found some good deals. So I wanted to show you all some deals that I found. And I bought some stuff from Safeway yesterday that I thought was a good deal too. So let's do um, Walgreens and a Safeway haul, okay, tonight. And just something real short and sweet just to come on in and say hello to y'all. And see how y'all doing and hoping you enjoyed your week, y'all. And the, thank God it's Friday, right? Hello, somebody. So anyway, look, y'all. Let me start with the um I start with the Walgreens first because I say Walgreens first, right? So I went in there and look, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Look, I, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I wasn't trying to. So when I said I went to looking for the um just the laundry detergent first, y'all. Let me show y'all. Okay. So, I got the laundry detergent. These little, the Tide, this was $3.94. And it's only, um, what, 13 coming in a pack? But I got two packs of that, y'all. Okay. So, then, I saw this... Big thing, 75 wipes, disinfecting wipes there, y'all. Uh, 75 of them for $1.99. So I should have actually bought two, but I usually use these and wipe off, you know, the doorknobs, you know, wipe the counters down and stuff like that, right? And it smelled pretty good too, okay? So in case anybody looking for disinfecting wipes right now, $1.99. Okay. And this little Unstoppables, I got that for like $3.94 too, okay? And then I got this little, um, and I meant to leave this in my car. I don't know how good this is. This is that old dollar, like dollar store stuff, but it's got it at Walgreens for a dollar. This was a dollar twenty-five. Just some lotion to keep in my car for you know the winter time. Your hands are so ashy, y'all. They they ashy right now. All right. So then I saw toilet paper. So I had bought some toilet paper like a week ago, but you can never have too much toilet paper. So they had the Scott's, you know, I like the Scott more softer brand, the Comfort Plus brand, $5, and you get half off the second one. So I got 24 rolls. To me, that's a good deal for uh, $7.50, right? Okay. Then I got they, their brand paper towels, and they okay. But they brand their brand paper towels usually I think five dollars. Today they was um three ninety nine for six of them. I thought that was a good deal too. So I got that because I needed some paper towels, y'all. And of course you know when you always in there seeing stuff. <clears throat> so I was in there and I saw some um some chips. And they had the the nice brand, the Wall Springs brand for a dollar ninety nine. Okay, and I'm gonna try them and let y'all know what they taste like. Because remember, I go to the off-brand store now, go to Liddell's, and I said they chips was good. They chips have gotten kind of funny, right? They tasted okay, but more oily than anything. But the best off-brand store that got the best chips to me is Aldi's. That's where you girl need to go. I need to go back up to Aldi's because they got the best chips for real. Like they chips is good. So I got that. And I got the plain kind because I wanted to try them. You know, for $1.99 too. Can't be that. And I got the um the little cookies. Y'all like these little wafers. They some kind of good. Those was $1.25. The little honey gram bears. Y'all remember the honey grams? We were kids. The little honey gram bears. I got those for $1.25 as well. $1.25, $1.29, something like that. And I got my um 
my honey barbecue sauce. You know, they sell this at the dollar store. So that was $1.25. But I'm, I'm actually going to try them chips in a minute, y'all. Because I wanted some chips. So that was basically it that I got from um, Walgreens. But, oh, and I got a case of water. They had that nice water. I don't know. It's purified water. It might not be all that, y'all. But it was only two fifty a case, and you could get it. Uh, well, two ninety nine, and it was two fifty if you bought two of them. So two for five. I only bought one because I said if it's nasty, I ain't gonna drink it. But anyway, so the other day when I went to Safeway, I had got these socks, y'all. Look at that. Now they were selling these socks so much during Christmas time. Y'all won't believe what I got the, the price I got these socks for. So it was originally, I believe, five dollars. And yesterday at Safeway, I paid a dollar seventy-five. A dollar seventy-five for three pairs. Okay, look at that. You you can't beat that. And it's the brand. The name brand is uh Catherine Maldrino or whatever. I was trying to see if they had the price on here. They don't have the price. So it says the original price is twelve ninety-nine. But I think it was like five or six dollars in Safeway. Okay, that was a good deal, excellent deal. Cause I love them fuzzy socks in the winter time, y'all. And I bought some from Marshalls, and what was they five dollars for three pairs? Come on now, y'all. Then I saw this. They had these in there too. Anybody like these little throws? This is the uh, R Door brand or whatever. Just a little throw that you throw on your couch. Throw over yourself in the cold, right? This was $3, y'all. $3 for this. Can you believe that? $3. And that's why I said I feel like I got some good deals. Okay? But we're going to try these chips. I'm going to try these chips and let y'all know what they're tasting like. Let's, let's check them out right now. You want to check them out with me? I should open the plant cards up to see what they're tasting like. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that ain't bad for real. You know the sad thing about this? I'm reading the back of this chip bag. The back of this chip bag. Y'all. Looks like you can't have nothing. You can't eat nothing or nothing. Like, everything is bad for you. And I got to tell y'all what this say, okay? It's a warning. And I wish I had known this before I bought it. I don't even know if I can take it back. Oh, well, it's a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Walgreens.com. Questions or comments. I'm definitely going uh, going wal Walgreens.com. Because it said, consuming this product can expose you to chemicals, including acrylamide, which is known through the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. For, for more information, go to www.p65warnings.ca.gov backslash foods. You know, it's a shame that you would still sell these chips and have the warning about cause, causing cancer. That's why y'all see me even pull that back down. Like, I don't even look at that's why so many people are sick nowadays with cancer. Because you're making food, and it says bioengineered. So most of the food is bioengineered. And you can't even eat it. It's not even worth eating. You know, y'all. And it's so sad. Look, now I gotta look at my cookies and see if my cookies said the same thing. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me look at these cookies. I am so disgusted. Do the cookies say the same thing on them? Look, I'm looking all around the bag and everything, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. The cookies don't say it on there. Cookies say product of turkey. Them chips were saving good, too, y'all. I'll put them things back. Let me look at the plain chips. Wait a minute. Plain chips say the same thing. We ain't eating there one of them. And guess what? If I can get my money back, I'm going to get my money back. I'm going to get my $4 back. You hear me? 
That just tell you right there, stop eating chips. That's what it tells you, stop eating chips. I guess you just got to stop eating junk food altogether. But then again, you know what? Eating the goddamn meat is clone meat, ain't it? <clears throat> look, I got to look at these cookies and see if these any good. These cookies don't set up on back of them either. So the cookie's good, but the chips is bad. Mm mm mm, y'all. I am deep fucked with it. You heard me. Look, but I'm ready to try these. Look, I'm trying to try the cookies. I guess they ain't meant for the try either. Oh, Lord Jesus. Do a tear or anything? Yeah, it is. Let me see if they. Look, I said, let me see if they smell weird. If they smell like a chemical. Mm, mm, mm. That's sad and depressing. Mm, mm, mm. And they ain't tasting like them for real. They almost taste like air. Y'all. So I guess the only good thing I got out of the whole deal was toilet paper, the laundry detergent, the paper towels, the socks, and the blanket, huh? Mm-mm-mm. That's all I can say. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Y'all. Mm. I thank y'all for coming. Watching your girl. Checking me out. I thank you for the new subscribers. Y'all know that every time I say thank you to the new subscribers, I feel like a couple of them will drop off. Like I shouldn't even be saying that because I'm like, okay, they bump up and then they drop down again. I don't even know. But guess what, y'all? This video ain't all that, but I got a video coming. I'm going to give y'all a good video. Because you remember I said that my birthday coming up on the 16th, right? Next week, next Tuesday, y'all, next Tuesday. So I'm definitely gonna do a birthday video. We gotta do a birthday video for your girl. Y'all, I'll be the big 45. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So I'm excited because you know, you just never know how, you know, how much God time God give you. So you gotta be excited. Even though, let me say this to somebody. Even though, you know, you're getting older, that doesn't mean that you still can't have fun and you still can't be excited. Yes, I've had some birthdays that have been sad and everything else, you know, especially before, right before the divorce and everything. But what you got to do is this. I'm going to give you all a little nugget tonight. I feel like something I got hung up in my life. You know how you ever have that, like, I hate to say this, excuse me, but like it's not hung up between your throat and your nose at the same time. I don't know. Maybe them chips did it. I don't know what happened that fast, y'all. I don't know what happened that fast. Wait a minute. Let me swallow like that. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. So what you do is every time that you think about a bad birthday you had, and I'm saying this for, for you and for me, every time you think about a bad birthday, bad holiday, a bad whatever, you do something different to make the next year better than the year before, right? Okay, so that's what I said. I'm not going to do the same thing. And I'm, and I'm still thinking about, you know how you be still dwelling on the past things and thinking about what happened. Okay, but we in a new year and we're doing new things, right? So I said, I'm going to do something different for myself. I'm going to do something new and different. And even though you might be by yourself or whatever, you love on you. Can't nobody love you like you love yourself, okay? And I know I got to this preaching part over here again, but guess what? It's, it's meant for me to say. Can't nobody love you like you love you. And if you don't love yourself enough to do something special for yourself, by yourself, then the next person that you get, they ain't going to treat you like nothing either. So this is to all the ladies, especially all my single ladies out there. Stop waiting for a man to come to your rescue, okay? Rescue yourself, honey. Rescue yourself. God loves you better than any man could. And he needs you to love yourself better than anybody, any man, any woman, any child, anybody could, okay? And I love myself. And it took me some time to get there, but I love myself. Okay? And I'm going to keep on loving on myself. 
So do something good for you. On your birthday, if you didn't get yourself a Christmas gift, like, you know, I showed you my Christmas gift last time. This ain't too late to get yourself a Christmas gift. Get yourself a New Year's gift or whatever you want to do. Treat yourself, honey. I haven't figured out what I want to buy myself for my birthday. But I got Kohl's, you know, they always send you something. I got some Kohl's uh, cash. They done sent me $5 Kohl's cash. Then they sent me a $10 one for my birthday. So $15 is a special treat for myself. I don't care if it's just a, a, a book, you know, nothing spectacular, some hand towels, some bathroom towels or something. $15 just for me. And it's just for my place, okay? So enjoy life because tomorrow ain't promised. The next second ain't promised, okay? So I'm going to try to celebrate all weekend. I don't even care if I ain't got nothing to celebrate with. I'm going to kick my feet up, pop myself some popcorn, and say, girl, you cute. You got this. It's your birthday weekend. It's your birthday weekend. <laughs> y'all. So anyway, y'all have fun for me. Have fun for me too, okay? And we're going to have fun together on that special day because it's getting closer and closer. And then we got a three-day weekend and everything too. Hello, somebody. Last year, I was blessed to have my birthday off, but it's okay. It's okay. We can still work and celebrate all at the same time. So keep staying tuned. Keep commenting. Keep liking and subscribing. All right? And I'll see y'all next time. The birthday girl will see y'all next time on Jackie's World. Mwah!